Yeah, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this type of uh, like a bench things. But I mean, not this bench things because you guys already know this one if you guys practiced by seeing my video last year. So I'm going to be teaching you lots more figures like how to make using rope. So let's get started. So, the first figure we are going to be making is the tabla, is the like, the is the drum. So, for that, you would need to take this rope, keep it straight down like this, and bend it like this. So, you get a cross in the middle, like this. So, you could take it, put it on your hands. And you could take, like, okay, now you could take the one which goes this side. Any side would be fine, but I'm taking this side and just put a knot. Both sides, like this, a knot. Then, now you should take these two and put it through this, pull it. Both sides like this so you get like this type of like cradle thing and now you have to do it yeah your side is fine and you get a banjo I mean not a banjo but like a tabla drum see <laughs> it also like some sort of like a thing which goes in your parks or something like a playground thing that maybe like your pets would go inside and guests can grow yeah, it's like a hamster wheel, kind of. If your hand was not there in the one place. I mean, yeah. So, the next one I'm going to be teaching you is the, is the airplane. So, you have to take this and you have to keep it on any hand, which hand you're comfortable in, like this. Hold it really tightly. Don't bend it, but keep it tightly and the rest three have to go here but this is a wrong rope i mean a long rope so use a tiny rope if you want to do this because it'll come not but not really tiny but like like the size you have i mean like medium size so keep it here and you have to leave these two fingers out one leave hold with these two fingers and leave the rest of the ropes back. Just use how whichever size you want. Go in like this inside this place. I mean, in the side, the swoop. Go through, take it out, take these through, open it, and pull it in like this. And there you have it. It's kind of like a house fly, but yeah, it's like kind of like a house fly Bzz, or like a human or something like maybe like a human monster or something. That's funny. See, like a human monster. He's upside down. Maybe like a human monster. He's weird, but it's actually a kind of like a weird rocket jet or something it's quite weird but it's okay it does the that's the last one um third one which i'm going to be teaching you is okay which one is that hmm okay i know you have to put this through here like this the rest of the rope has to be like here now you have to keep here i mean and you have to take this whole rope, I mean this rope, and you have to put it back like this. And you have to take it back like this. Ooh. Okay, this is hard. No, 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 not this one. I don't think it's this one. Okay, yeah, this one. Oh, yeah. So you have to make it this way, and you have to take the back one front Put like a knot and put it back through. Pull it just a little bit, not too much, and take the inside bit, take it out, turn it like right side, 
twice and put it through your pinky. Take this one two times, twirl to your left side, pull it, and this rope which is in the back, take it in, pull it, and beat this up like this, and pull it, so you get like a paw print. Okay, it just looks like this. So you get like a paw print, like a doggy paw print or something. <laughs> it's quite funny, actually. So, the fourth one is going to be... Uh, oh, yeah. It's going to be the kitty whiskers. So, take this way. Bend it this way. But you're supposed to... Okay, you can go with... Uh, I mean, never mind. You have to go with... Any finger is fine, but I'm going with this pointer fingers. Okay, do that. Do it. Do this, that. Go with that, and go with that. And uh, now you have to remove your thumbs. Pull it, and make your thumbs go back. And inside this, it has to go this way. And now go through this, and... Inside this, and now you have to ah, okay, leave them and take it and take it in this, and now you have to uh, okay, yeah, oh, yeah, now you have to remove these two fingers, and there you have it, kitty whiskers, meow, meow, this kind of length. Kitty whiskers. So I don't know will kitty whiskers be this lengthy, but this is too much lengthy. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. This is a tangle here. It's okay. I can remove it in a second. I think. Oops. Uh oh. Okay. No mind. <laughs> okay. So that's it for today, and bye guys, see you in my next video. Uh, oh, I'll, I mean, one second, I, I almost forgot, there is still one more left. So, it's the Eiffel Tower. And you have to do it like this. You have to go with this finger, and you have to remove these, both. Pull it in, take from outside, and go like this, pull it in, now take and remove these both, just like you do with the kitty whiskers thing, but not exactly, see the kitty whiskers, so like this kitty whiskers, you have to go with this third place, but you're not supposed to pull it so hard. All your Eiffel Tower will break. So go to the third one. Pull it in. Now you have to take this place, this rope from your point of finger. Keep it in here. And now there will be two ropes on your, on your thumb finger. Remove this rope from the bottom. Same thing on the other side. And now you have to take these pointer fingers put them through this and remove this pinky finger and pull it uh it doesn't actually turn out really well if you pull it S okay it kind of came just pull it like this okay oops it didn't turn out as well but I guess it's fine, and, okay, okay, and it's tangled, <laughs> so, anyways, bye guys, see you in the next video, I'll teach you Eiffel Tower maybe, like, tomorrow, and, anyways, bye guys, and also, the testing videos about the, about the paper boats and stuff will be tomorrow, too, so subscribe if you want to see them. Bye, guys.